Thousands gathered in the nation's capital today calling for hostages to be freed in the Israel-Hamas war. Laura Geary shows us the march and the security concerns surrounding the event. A sea of Israeli flags, Jewish people and supporters gathering in the nation's capital Tuesday. We will stand on the National Mall in the, in the most visible place in this country and say America will not stand for this. October 7th was a crime against the Jewish state, indeed against humanity. Israel will cease their counteroffensive when Hamas ceases to be a threat to the Jewish state. As Israel takes its retaliatory fight against Hamas into a second month, the toll on Gaza's civilian infrastructure has been devastating. Some March attendees worry the graphic images of war could shake President Joe Biden's pro-Israel stance. There's a lot of pressure for him to want to be moved in another direction, but so far he's, he's supporting Israel. That's the most important thing. Still others have a deeply personal reason for attending the march. The Hamas terrorist organization killed my cousin Oria. Also in the spotlight at the rally, rising anti-Semitism, especially on some college campuses. Every university leader in this country has a responsibility to ensure that no student is intimidated uh, or harassed on campus because of their religion. My grandchildren look back at this moment. I want to be able to say I was there at a moment where our community and our country needed me to stand up for our country and our future. I'm Laura Aguirre for WDRB News.